Hi guys, this is Bob. Uh, I will be showing you how to sign up for Canvas, logging in, and then signing into multiple accounts. Uh, I'm going to show you on your computers uh, as well as on your phone. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty easy on your computer. So uh, if you're on Microsoft Teams, uh, I've uploaded or yeah, I've posted uh, the registration codes for each of the three classes. Uh, and we'll go over how to sign in uh, and then sign up and then register more than one class. Uh, if you have uh, three classes with me, then you'll need to register just using one account so that you can manage all these classes uh, in one app or in one browser. That would be great. Uh, so yeah, I posted the links to this. Uh, you can just go ahead and click on it. Uh, and then if you've already registered, uh, great. If you have not, uh, use an email account that uh, you haven't used previously. Um, and I don't have an account actually that uh, is new since I've been using Canvas for a while now. Uh, but yeah, if you click new user, uh, you can just write your name. Uh, and if you do that, what happens? Oh wait, let me use the other one. having multiple accounts, nice and free and easy. Uh, so it's going to tell me that I already have an account. When you register for the first time uh, and you clicked new, uh, you were you went into the class, uh, but you actually didn't finish completing your sign-in. So what you actually had to do was go to your Gmail account uh, or whatever email you're using. I do recommend having a Google account for this class, uh, so please do that. Uh, you'll get an email. Go ahead and click on that, and this finishes the registration, uh, which means that you are going to type in your password uh, that you're going to be using and choose the time zone. So I'm not in Mountain Time America. Uh, we are in Istanbul. Uh, and I do not want to receive information. You can go ahead if you want and do that. That's fine. Uh, click register. And then it'll take you to this page. Okay, so some of you, I think, signed in, were moving around, mucking around, um, and so your accounts don't have an email account connected to them. Uh, remember, again, uh, try to go into, let me turn off all these, into your accounts uh, and update your update your profile and things like that. You can edit that, edit your settings. Uh, and this is where you can add another email account. So if you want to add uh, another account connected to this, uh, so you're not using your Chukurova email account, which you probably don't know how to check or um, don't often check, uh, don't use that one. Use the one that's most common for you. Uh, and uh, I do recommend having a Gmail account because it'll help you with other parts of this class. All right. So uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, and as we can see in our dashboard, uh, we have one class, uh, listening and pronunciation one right there. Um, let's go to the iPhone app. Uh, so if you just signed in on your browser uh, and then you download Canvas, um, you might not figure out how to log in, but there's two different ways of logging in. Okay, uh, I think the easiest way, if you've done it on a browser already, uh, the easiest way actually is if you go to QR, sorry, let me explain that again. If you press account, uh, you'll see this bar pop up. Uh, there's something called QR for mobile login. Okay, uh, and from here, you can press proceed, and it's going to give you that QR code uh, on the app on the iPhone, which I'm holding in my hand. Uh, you can see that there is a QR login, uh, and then you're going to allow your camera and just hover over there, uh, and you're going to be logged in. That's easy. Real easy, huh? Uh, the other way you can do it, let's go and change users. You're going to check uh, Find My School. Uh, you're going to click, you're going to type canvas dot instructure which my phone is getting smaller and small dot com 
Uh, and this is how you logged in originally. Uh, the canvas.instructure.com uh, is a free for teacher account. Uh, that's how I'm able to use it. Uh, and you're going to sign in with that email account and the password that you had. So that's one other way to do it. Hmm. I guess the best way would be to go back to the other classes here. So now that you're finished with listening and speaking, uh, go to your writing class. Uh, you also have the link somewhere up here. There we go. Uh, and then just go ahead and click on that link. And not now. Goodbye. There we go. Uh, click on Enroll in Course. Uh, and then you can either go to your dashboard or your courses. Uh, so it's going to show that I have two courses. Let's look at all of our courses right here. Uh, and I'm a student in both of them, and they have both been published because that's what I do. All right, so now you have two classes uh, in your Canvas account, uh, and you can click on whichever one you need to work on. Uh, the other part that you would want to do is uh, the last one if you're in all three classes. Uh, and if you're not in all three classes, please do not sign in. <laughs> uh, I do not need more students uh, in all of my classes. Uh, and then click on Enroll. Okay. So yeah, go to Courses, go to Course, go to Courses, go to your dashboard, whichever one you'd like to do. Uh, and now, yeah, you're going to have all of your classes uh, in one spot on your Canvas account. If we go back to our c phones, uh, let's go into my iPhone. All three of those are there as well. All right, uh, let's try to do this for students without um, a laptop computer available, um, something that I think is very useful at the moment. So you're on your Microsoft Teams account right now uh, on your phone, and you're going to sign into one of my classes. Let's go ahead and look at listening and speaking again. Oops. Uh, and I want to somehow go. Oh, it's general somehow get in here uh, and we're going to look for that sign in code through here once i click on that it's going to open up the browser i hope i had to press see more go ahead uh, click in structure enroll or save the link uh, i guess the best way to do this now is to go into your browser paste that link uh, unless your phone allows you to do that which mine didn't uh, we pasted that, and you're going to be able to enroll in your class. Let's flip this upside down or sideways. I do not like passwords on mobile devices. And I'm in. I'm going to pass that, uh, delete that so you can't see that. Uh, student tour, not now. Thank you very much. Uh, come back later. Sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm enrolling. I'm going to go ahead and press go to course. Okay, uh, and then you'll be able to see it on here. I do recommend using the iPhone app uh, or the Android app if you're just going to be using your mobile device. Uh, and yeah, make sure that in your settings you have the appropriate logins uh, and the correct email address that you'll be using um, most importantly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions? Hopefully that helped you. Uh, I'll try to put this together in a clear and concise way. Uh, thank you for all of your hard work this week, and thanks for your patience, and we will see you next week in class. Bye.